Hello world, Wave Time here, bringing to you another episode of EE Power. Now I do still have quite a few things cooking up in my furni, with a bit of extra food just in case I need it, and etc. And with the coke oven having almost three entire buckets of oil, not oil, creosote oil, I think it's a good time to look for that rubber tree. Now what I think I'm going to do is just keep on going this direction creepers still up there huh uh, I'm gonna keep on going in one singular direction and hopefully find a bunch of interesting stuff on the way now it's going to be a bit difficult seeing as I am in an extreme hills area so it might take a while but just as a frame of reference I'm at about negative 200 so if I don't see something by negative 2,000, I'll probably have to go in a different direction. So I'm not going to record the entirety of this adventure because it will probably take a long time. But say, for instance, if I manage to find some sort of place where I can get like a lot of good materials, maybe I can get some bees while I'm out here I don't really have any backpack for that but if I see something I'll just mine it a bit and I'll probably note it to you if it's something very serious such as you know diamonds raining from the sky or something like that so let's see what can we talk about in the meantime probably some of the plans that I'm thinking of doing is that we're going to need to get our industrial craft pretty much uh, off the bat bat started and we have some oil so that's good one moment I don't think the chunk loading is exactly the happiest right now seeing as I am seeing a lot of stuff ah <sighs> yet another problem with all of the SMP nonsense anyways we got oil here so we'll probably just save the location so that we'll be able to go there later. I'm not sure when this later time is. It's probably going to be not now, which is kind of the definition of later. But oh well. So hmm, I'll probably update you after I get uh, 500 more blocks away. Huh, think of it this way. At least it's not going to be my like this person who's doing a farlands or bus series you should probably check that out anyways but farlands or bus let's just say I'm not going to the farlands especially in 1.3.2 since farlands have been taken out anyways moving onwards so it seems like we have reached some sort of river biome judging by the fact that this is a giant area of water so that's probably a sure sign that we're getting somewhere now I'm not sure let's see river yes it is a river biome so ooh and that water cascade kinda looks awesome now it doesn't mean like we're getting anywhere really I don't think this river biome I don't think it's a completely large biome like the others <clears throat> for instance it's definitely not the size of the biome I'm in this biome must be like a good 10 square kilometers or something. I have no idea, seeing as I never went to the edge of it. Hmm, reeds might be a good idea to pick up, because I might have some sort of use for paper in the future. I don't know, I'd have to check that. Let's see. Paper, paper, paper. What use do I have of you? I can make a map or a template. Stamps, blueprint. Uh, ah, floppy disks. Floppy disks will be something that I'll definitely need. So, we'll see how that goes. Carry on. Okay, so it's getting pretty dark out, and I'm almost at the negative 1200 point. So, I'm hoping I'm getting close enough. Now, fancy, I've been trying it, and obviously it's not exactly making... Uh, for the most kind, then maybe that's just my recording. Anyways, maybe I can test if Fancy is right for my computer. It's really hard to say. It's not the top of the line computer, but it is still a pretty decent one, so it should be good. So, I'm almost at the point where I think I should reach some other 
biome. Hey -o. Here we go. So let's make our way down. Down, down, down. Ah, uh, that was close. And it looks like it's close. It's almost nighttime, and things are going to start blowing up on me. So I don't know how much of an opportunity I will have to really scour this place. I think I saw some rubber trees over there, but f to be safe, I think what's going to happen is that I'll probably just... You know what? I should have brought my bed with me, seeing as it's not for spawning. I should have brought it. I should have, should have, should have brought it. Anyways, this peak should be high enough so that I won't get bothered too much. Maybe I'll just go over and get some sand in the meantime, but I'll definitely want to wait till morning, which is gonna actually be very close by. So let's take this and make another bed, since why not? La 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 la. And obviously it's saving the chat log because that's still there. Okay. Now that it's nice and day and everything like that, we can get that out of the way. Get that. Actually get that. Ah. There we go. Tree tap. Hidey hole, hidey hole. Okay, going onwards, we can place our stuff like that. Go down. Descend upon it and get some of this rubber. Now, I'm going to want to get as many of these saplings as possible because we're going to want to get as much as possible of all the rubber. Now, there's probably going to be some rubber that I can get right away, but we're going to have to see. Okay, nothing so far on this tree. Yep, there we go. Okay, we got some sticky situation right now, and we got a grand total of two of that and one rubber tree sapling. Okay, so there's still going to be more, and hopefully we'll be able to get most of this stuff before I have to go again, because I'm hoping to get back at daytime, or right before nighttime, because that will probably be our safest bet at safe survival. So I'll just scour through these trees, try to get as much sapling as possible. Actually, that would probably be a good idea. I might as well get maybe one set of bees. So here we go. Might as well make up. Nope, we got like that. I believe we can get a scoop like so. And get a few bees. Now this honeycomb, I think I'm going to pass on. Actually, string or raw chicken. That'll do. And we should be good. Now I want to get some uh, saplings from that as well, so I probably have a little too much in my inventory, it seems. So I'll just get rid of some of the stuff and start on my way back to the base. Wow. That is definitely a big shelf. Let's just go up and take a look. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Ah. Oh. You know, this is one of the many reasons I play Minecraft. Just seeing some of these structures take form, it's unbelievable. So let's get out our cobblestone. We'll probably just ruin the landscape by doing this, but I gotta see the top of it. So let's just find our way up. We might be able to get a good vantage point and see if we can get any other goodies while we are way out here. Because since we made the trip, we might as well, you know, at the very least, it'll be a very cool uh, location for a railway system. Just having one of the destinations go way over here. That will be worthwhile. Now if I can manage to get myself up there, it will be very good. And we're on top of the plateau, or the shelf, or whatever you want to call it. Well, if I were to build a house here, it'd be need to be slightly taller. But man, this is... wow. Make sure you hold the shift key way. There's no other way to do it. Then again, killing chickens. Not that bad. Might as well explore a bit more while I'm out here, so I'll just 
see what I can find in the meantime. Maybe I can find a cave system that goes straight down, or a gigantic oil well. That'll be fun. Okay, home sweet home, and I left the door open for some reason. So let's, uh... Guess that's not an option, so let's go over here, sleep a bit, and thankfully we have awesomeness afoot. Okay, now that they will be burning, thankfully, I can pick up my saplings again and maybe open the door later. Eh, I'll open it later. Okay, so we got a lot of our stuff done now. I think it'd be a very wise decision to put away most of our junk away. Okay, this... Not really building supplies, so that and that. Can brick our bricks like this a building supply? No, it's miscellaneous, so I, I need a better sorting system than this. This is horrible. Okay. Okay, our coke oven is still going strong. That's a good thing. Now our apiary is probably going to have to wait for a bunch of other stuff. But let's get some generation of energy going. Uh, we have a lot of rubber, which we can use. Let's burn this rubber. And then we'll be able to make it into some nice little macerators. Macerators will need a generator as well. I think our generator is the first thing we're going to need to make. So an iron furnace. So one, two, three, four, five plus three refined iron. Uh, let's make a bunch of refined iron to start with and then we can make the generator with a furnace and some iron. Since we do have quite a bit of that we might as well use it. Iron, furnace, and we're going to also need to get some of our copper once we get a bunch of this, we'll be able to add it all together. This is almost done anyways. An enchantment table won't run amiss, really, though we don't really have the resources to do that. So, find iron, good. We need some redstone, which is in here. So if we combine the redstone with more rubber and copper... So first, we need to make wires. Wires, check. Then we need to make a battery with this and the tin. So once we combine the RE battery with refined iron and an iron furnace, we get a single generator. Now the single generator won't be enough for our full energy needs, uh, so let's... We might as well just have this as a temporary location right here. So, if I want to have... Who's moaning? Is there a cave? No, there isn't. Okay, come here. Hiya! That must have hurt. Okay. So, I didn't really want to have that, and you probably didn't either. So, let's have a bit of planning. We'll want to have the generator flush to the wall. We'll also want to have our energy flush as well. So we'll want to have a bat box that will go right there. So we need... How much does the bat box take? Battery box takes three RE batteries. So we'll need to make three more RE batteries. There we go. We'll need some of this. And we'll need to make it in such a pattern that we have all of that. We'll have an extra wire, and then we'll take the RE batteries. Right here, now we got a bat box. Once we get our bat box right here, which we'll need to just get a bit of this out of the way. That's facing the correct direction. Hmm. Can I? Yes, I can. Okay. So let's take this. We're going to want to eventually have multiple generators running at once. So having it flush against the wall like that is a stupid idea. So instead, we'll have it flush like this. 
so that the output's going there. We'll have some wires heading up over there, and then it'll be good. So we'll need to get some more wires, which we have enough rubber for at least. So like this, this, and this. And let's turn off that music, shall we? Much better. Copper cables. And we might as well have it running a bit to get the energy reserves. Ten will do. Ah, and this is done. Oh, I already pulled it. Derp! Okay. So now that we have our bat box, we're going to need to make some basic components. We'll need a macerator, that's our most important one, so we'll need a machine block and electronic circuit, which will require even more wires. Which shouldn't be too much of a bother, but oh well. So this... Okay. Electronic circuit is a go. Now we'll need to get the flint. Flint is in our myth should be in nah, it'll be in here. So we got our flint, we got our cobblestone, which will be required. We got enough refined iron to be able to make this into some awesomeness, which will then combine together with that and where is that? Here we go, and I believe it's this. Okay, so we got our first machine, our macerator, which will go here, and eventually we'll have more machines lining up the walls, probably a lot more mas macerators. Macerators, macerators, oh, whatever. Okay, we might as well get this started. It's probably going to require, well, let's put gold in for now. We'll be a little golden, aren't we? Oh, <laughs> that was horrible. One, two, three, four. So that'll be good. And I have no idea why convenient inventory decides to be a complete nuisance. But what have you. So this will be running pretty much constantly. This will still... The net is still an increase. So we'll need to make an electric furnace soon. Electric furnace. Which will need an iron furnace and an electronic circuit. Which will require more wires, but we don't have... <sighs> oh my goodness, I can't believe I said that without realizing it. Require more wires. <laughs> I'm wired. Okay, so these saplings I should make grow with some bone meal. It's probably the best use of our time. <clears throat> grow. Oh, that's a nice big tree. Grow. Not as big. So we'll have to make these naked, because I like seeing them naked, even though they are trees. Ooh, Flora would not be happy with me right now. Definitely wouldn't be. Okay, so, <laughs> bad jokes aside, it looks like we only have one source there. And see how many we have here. One source. That is quite disappointing, if I do say so. Quite disappointing indeed. At least these will start to uh, dwindle in their supply, and we have a lot more saplings which we can use to our advantage. So we might as well grow a few more while we're at it. We want to keep our scenery nice, though, so we don't want... Ooh, that's close. We don't want it to be too horrible. Ah, we actually got two with this one. Where'd you go? I'll assume I picked you up. Must not make horrible pun. It's so hard to resist. <laughs> okay, now we... Definitely have enough saplings to last a while, so we might as well put this in one of our chests since we're going to want to use it later. <clears throat> um, yeah, why not? Okay, so 
we're going to want to also make s I think the best use of our time is to make some of the more advanced machines for forestry we will need a squeezer eventually but hmm should we start with the forestry stuff or should we start with this stuff hmm well we have industrial craft going right now and it's going quite at a steady rate I'm not sure how much energy it takes per maceration. I can probably calculate that at a later time, but it's probably not going to be something so overly drastic. Let's get this going. I don't even know why I have all of these for mine. Maybe I can just de just take a few of them down, you know. Come on. Okay. Now, another thing I should be doing, other than smelting my sand, which I can't believe I wasn't doing, is get started my computer for computer craft. I'll need the redstone. I'll also need some glass, which we don't seem to have. But I can just wait for this to, you know, do its magic. Not really magic. I don't think I installed any magic mods. But speaking of magic, I think I know the best invention in the world right now. Never thought of it before. Okay, I think this is enough glass, so let's check the turtle recipe. The turtle is going to require, let's see, the mining turtle will require a diamond pickaxe and a turtle. Turtle requires a computer and a chest. Chest won't be too difficult, and I believe I remember the crafting recipe for the computer itself. So, chest, good. Got our iron. And we also have enough for that pick that we ordered. Oops. So, pick, good. We'll need a glass pane, if not for now, but for later. Redstone, smooth stone, this is probably the... I'm not going to go on a tirade of why this is such a bad recipe. But anyways, so combine this together with chest, and we got a turtle. But combine it once more with this, and we got a mining turtle. Good, we can pick it up again. Okay, mining turtle, here we go. Now that's probably an indication of its chest. And it's activated. Seems good. Now I'm not sure if there's any way to add a floppy drive to it. There must be disk drive. Disk drive probably has to be connected directly to the computer to be able to do that. Now. I don't believe there's any operating system to determine which direction it's going in. So positive Z is zero. Okay, so that will be interesting. Might be able to... Ha I want to just... Hmm. I'm kind of giddy with excitement with a computer, you know. I haven't actually used one of these computers for a while, if actually at all. So I'm quite interested to see how well it turns out. So what I'm going to do is actually neglect the computer for a bit and make a few pistons since we're going to want to make a few more machines to actually start. Uh, hmm, this is bad. There we go. Eight of those. We got redstone. We got iron. And we'll cobble together some cobble, and we'll make some eight pistons. I think that will be enough for what we're going to do. Hmm. Let's see, we're going to need to make a thermionic fabricator eventually. But we're going to want to make some other advanced uh, bee stuff. Wait, how fast is that going? That's going at a nice pace. And we're still going. Probably another thing we'll want to do is make a coke oven because our creosote oil production is not exactly the fastest thing in the world. Let's just... Uh... Is that it? No, that's...
that's not it. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, well. Let's see. What was I doing? Ah, yes. We'll need to make a rolling machine because that's a very basic uh, thing that we'll need to make. That's pretty much the only reason we would make it. So, some of these pistons and combine them with iron to make awesome. Now, another thing we'll want to make is some... Let's see, that should be enough gears for two. We'll want to make some combustion, not, not the combustion engines, the steam engines. <clears throat> Let's say the coal generated power thingy mobobbers. Yes, those ones. Uh, I have no idea what they are. I'll probably understand what they are as soon as I actually get to that. So let's just be quiet way and make them. Sterling engines. Okay. Making some sterling engines, because that is what they're called. We'll get them together with the rolling machine, and then we'll be able to make some stuff. Maybe rolling machine somewhere else, because I don't have any room whatsoever. But we'll probably be able to find a location for all of this stuff at a later time. Okay, this is where all of this stuff is, so we might as well put it with the rest. And wait for the best. <laughs> or some other moniker like that. Okay, so we got some gold dust, which we'll eventually put into one of these machines so that we can actually get them. Uh, get a bunch of gold, that would be a very good idea. So let's just use some standard coal. What I want to eventually do is be able to get another diamond. Though getting another diamond right now is going to be a difficult task indeed. What I could do is bring my turtle down to one of the lower levels and just make it, you know, dig up a lot of stuff. That would actually probably be a very good idea to do. Hmm. I'm just going to see how much time we have left, and if we have enough time, I'll just see if I can code a short little program that'll just bring me down to one of the lower levels. Okay, we definitely have enough time to do so, so I think I'll just bring my turtle over here and see if I can make some short programming with how much I know. Now, where is the sun? I'm not sure. It's probably behind the mountain, meaning it's almost time for bed. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's make that, and we'll need to learn how to refuel this darn thing first. Ah, yes, turtle.refuel. So I think I'll do this. Ah, I need to go into Lua and then do it. And I need to turn that into a lowercase and probably not butcher. I'm using delete. Wrong one. Good. Now we can get that out of the way, and that should be enough. So let's edit a program, and we'll call it staircase. And let's see. We'll want to print that. We hmm. I don't know. Let's see. And good local variable, and we'll want to go depth equals, what is it, read? Ah, I should go inside and go to bed. Yeah, I think it is read. So let's do that, and we might as well just test this. So control save, control exit, and staircase 10. Okay, that works. So let's just do edit staircase again. And let's just have it a simple loop. So for i equals 1 to depth, we will do the current operations. So as a programmer, I'm just going to go two spaces left or just tab. Sorry, two spaces right. 
So we want to dot dig down. I think this works. So we'll see that. And turtle dot dig dot forward. So currently it's down, dig down, go down, dig forward, move forward, and then we'll want to dig up. Just rudimentary, nothing fancy. I hope this works. Control save, control exit. Oops. That's obviously a problem. Edit dot staircase. Okay, it expected a string. So what's the problem? Control save, control exit. Line three, it ah, that's probably it. Okay, so it's not a semicolon, but it's a just a p comma. So edit staircase again. Idiot, idiot, idiot. It's not that I'm an idiot. I just don't know this program well enough to go. So let's do staircase. We'll try one. So now let's do 10. Oops. So this should go fast enough and it'll dig straight down. I'm not going to go into like super awesome way to make it. But let's see. It'll dig enough so that I don't have to worry about it too much. Now I'm going to actually make it fancy and just actually make it a better staircase. So it'll dig up, so we'll need to move this. Actually move that back again and do that tab dot up. So I want it to move up turtle dot dig up turtle dot dig no turtle dot down okay save exit I'm currently at level 57 for 56 wait let me get these out of the way so that we'll have it much better when we come back up so we won't hit our head or anything like that which would be a bit of a nuisance which is what we're trying to get out of the way staircase I'm at 56 right now. I want to go down 40 levels. Pfft. Okay, so we got edit again. Ah, <laughs> ah, typo. Sorry, uh, save, exit. We're going to need to just move it down again. There we go. Exit, staircase, 40. That works. So now it's going to be a proper staircase. Not bad at all for my first Lua attempt. It could be a lot better, but it could be a lot worse. So let's just go to the bottom of the staircase eventually when it's done. Too bad I can't think of a way to get it to, you know, place torches or stuff like that. And it'll have to refuel again soon, so I'm hoping I... Let's see, how many movements does it do each? One. So one... One, two, three, four. 
So four movements. I gave it three coal. It should definitely be enough to be take care of. But we're almost at lava. So we're getting close. So I'm just going to... Hmm. Obviously, it doesn't take care of that, so we're going to have to do some of that. Ha ha ha. That's fun. So obviously, it doesn't take care of everything, but it is good enough as it is. Hmm. Actually, this is good because now we'll be able to... Hey, get back here. We'll be able to get back enough obsidian without actually having to make another uh, pick. Hope we're almost there. Well, that's something I didn't take into account. Okay, so not exactly the best staircase in the world, but it should definitely be enough for when I decide to do other stuff. So, Lua Turtle dot get fuel. Two oh seven, that should be good. There we go. Now it should be at a much higher amount. That will be perfect for what we're going to do. Fifteen, let's just do stairs again. Oops. That would be good. Okay, now, what I think for the next episode is, other than fixing those staircases, which we're going to have to program in some way to get gravel out of the way, I think what we'll do is program in some way to just keep on going forward. Actually, I think, uh, no, nah, I think that's all. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of EE Power. If you like what you see, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe to future episodes. We have time here. Signing off. Have a wonderful day. Yay, programming! Woohoo!